All right, everybody, welcome to the video here for uh, lesson number four. Uh, in this lesson, we learned how to create a perpendicular bisector. And I know in both of our classes, we fell short a little bit on time. We finished this problem, but we didn't really get a good chance to explain it good. Um, so I'm going to start by constructing a 45 degree angle. Well, to construct a 45 degree angle, what we want to do is we first want to create a 90 degree angle. Because if I have a 90 degree angle, I'll, I could cut it in half. So I'll start here. I'm going to make two arcs, one from A and one from B. That's going to create a perpendicular line. So I'm going to make a perpendicular line. I'll, I'll even do it in purple so that everything that's in purple is representing uh, perpendicular. So that line that I just drew, that's a 90 degree angle. So this angle here, somewhere in the middle, that's a 90 degree angle. I don't want a 90 degree angle. I want a 45 degree angle. So I want to cut that angle in half. Well, to cut an angle in half, I start by making a circle around the angle that I'm trying to cut in half. So here's my angle I'm trying to cut in half. I'll make a circle. Oh, I didn't want that to be purple. Let's try that again. Still purple. Try one more time. Green. That's what we want. All right, now where that green line intersects here, I want to make an arc. And where that green line intersects here, I also want to make an arc. Now you see where those two green arcs intersect? Well, that's going to tell us where the bisector is. So if I go from the center through that point, I've just created a 45 degree angle. So this angle that I'm labeling now in red is 45 degrees. I can even label it. So I'll call this like C and this point like D. So then I can say angle A, C, D is 45 degrees. This is an example of a construction where you have to actually do some thinking. It's not just do the circles and be done with. Luckily for you, question number one in the homework is one of those ones that just do the circles and be done with it. So if we do the circles and be done with it, we can get out of this question pretty quickly. So to construct a perpendicular bisector, we're going to open up our compass so it's more than half the distance of the segment we're bisecting. Do that for both point C and D and then draw in your line. Now remember, when you're drawing in your line, once it's drawn in, you have to put arrows on it. It's important. This line goes on forever. So I'll put arrows here and arrows here. If you don't forget the arrows, it's wrong. The last question has you do the perpendicular bisector for three different segments. They're all just making up a triangle. It's the same construction just three times. So I'm going to do this with three different colors. So I'm going to start by doing the bottom side, BC, open up my compass to be more than half, make two arcs, one from B, one from C. Oh, geez, that first one needed to be longer. Right, let's make that one longer. There you go. So those two intersect at that those two locations. Intersect them. There's one perpendicular bisector. Make sure you draw your arrows. All right, let's do another one. I'll do this one in red. So this time we're going to bisect AB. I'm going to make my circle smaller. The reason why I'm making my circle smaller, you know we could keep it the same size. You're going to kind of have the same circle as the first one, right? And that kind of gets confusing. This is another uh, good example of why having different colored pencils in your bag helps because these start to overlap and they can get confusing. We'll draw our straight line here again and label our arrows. And the last one here I'll do in green. This is for AC. Again, yet another size, 
circle so that we don't confuse ourselves. So here's green and green. Connect those with a straight line. And we're just about done with our homework. It's exciting, I know. And we have our homework done. This construction looks like a mess, but it does um, mean something to us. Eventually in this class, we'll learn that this point in the middle has a special name. But not yet. We'll figure that out later. So for right now, just keep studying, keep looking back at your notes. Part of geometry is actually studying, right? I know that's tough to hear, but you have to also know all the vocab. Okay. Hopefully this helps and best of luck.